Hello my soccer universe to finally the 23-24 Europa League jersey review and this year since we're doing it uh, ahead of the Christmas break we're looking at all the teams that are present in the group stage which I'm very excited about but yeah I'm sorry I wanted to actually do this a month earlier however life I really could not find the time this type of videos are a little bit more work than other videos that I'm publishing so I had to postpone it now we are in December, just ahead of the last match day that I'm shooting this. I'm going to split this review into four videos uh, with two groups in each video. Uh, basically, we'll have first video group A, group B, then C, D, E, F uh, is part three and G, H is part four. Within each video, we go group by group and within each group, I'll sort the teams sort of alphabetically. If you would like all the pictures that you see in these videos are taken from um, football kit archive a website that I can warmly recommend and all the jerseys are rated from 1 to 10 a little caveat also uh, there are some teams in there mostly Eastern European former Soviet Union teams that I did not get either the best pictures but also not the full um the full kit overview so i might skip there a little bit so the fourth and last part of this review is also the most challenging one uh for two reasons a smaller one i only have jerseys for three of the eight teams in there and it's literally only these three teams that i would ever consider getting jerseys uh for and they're also let's be the a few teams in there where especially in group h but also a little bit in group g where the picture quality or the information is rather rather limited so please take everything here with a pinch of salt but let's start with a team that i'm wearing one of the most celebrated releases was the return of roma with adidas and the new roma shirt and everyone got crazy about it because of course they went back to a mid 90s color scheme and also you know having the lupetto slightly adjusted on there made everyone go crazy um there are three versions that have been released first it was a blank one then they had spqr which to me is the best one and then with the new sponsor ria season which it's not bad but it's also not great so uh, and you know with all the connotations we we, we did i'm not super pleased with that sponsor as well um, I have to say the color scheme is all right, but it's not necessarily what I uh, associate with Roma. I'm more with this color scheme here that, the, you know, there's a little a darker, slightly darker red. And then also the the, the the yellow is more an orange. I also have, have had to say what, and I'm sure I'm in the minority here. Um, it's just the Spain shirt in Roma colors nothing else it's just a refrain when you have the inset here you have uh, you know the color the, i don't find it that exciting it is more or less a template shirt with a lupetto the lupetto is great and it also uh, makes a cardinal sin for me that uh, on the back there are the ventilation patches colored in the yellowish orangey tone so while i know that there are many out there that absolutely love this shirt I'm not one of the believers there. Uh, for me, it's just a plain one. Yes, it looks Roma. It's nice and that. I actually hope there will be great jerseys coming. Or I have to say the New Balance ones and also some of the Nike ones. But at the New Balance ones, I actually there were some really nice jerseys in, in there. So I don't didn't find the need so much for it. Six stars only. It does get better, but not with the away jersey. The away jersey now takes the classic Roma um, crest, or the current Roma crest, not necessarily the classic one and puts it on a slightly off-white jersey with black stripes here i honestly would like a little bit more the roma colors instead of black i think that would make it more roma to me uh what saves the jersey is the very intricate pattern you know this leafy pattern with the asr uh in there i wonder whether they can wear this even in europe this way because i know there's you know with with logos there's some problem but maybe it is fine um but yeah the pattern makes this jersey great the black doesn't make it roma for me 
And when I watch it in play, it's just your standard box, standard Roma away jersey. A little bit like this one, although this one has a Lupetto on there. So yeah, I, it's not bad. I really like the pattern. This elevated weighted. I wish that the accents were in Roma red. That was a little bit more Roma, uh, Roma, Roma colors. The black doesn't do it, do it, do it for me. So again, let's stick with six stars. However, I have to say that the third jersey, that one's outstanding. This one does everything right. And yes, it's a black jersey, but for it, the color is great. Then you have the three stripes in three different colors. And then you have this very interesting pattern. This is a standout jersey. Also the sponsor in white and you know the around little loop at the crest. It looks all really, really good here. Uh, this is one of my favorite jerseys that has been released. And you know, you take black, which fits well within the Roma Canon, also is present on the Lupetto crest, and then you take all the other club colors and, and you know, a little bit of hint of the lollipop um, uh, jersey that there. This is outstanding. This is absolutely outstanding. I don't want to go as high as 10, but this is definitely a 9 star. I think for 10, it's a little bit too Adidas, if you know what I mean. Let's move over to Switzerland, where Servet Genf um, or Geneva, how? Servet FC, let, let's call that one. Very similar colors to Roma. Um, I'm not so sure, but at the blue, the blue uh, piping is a little bit odd to me, also a little bit gold, but you know, I honestly know too little about Servet. I know they have a very similar um, main color as Roma does, and then you know, maybe getting with with, with the gold it should be fine. Uh, like uh, it also looks very Italian with the uh, sponsor, the MSC. Um, I just am not on board with the blue side strapping, although it's nicely done, but it doesn't connect with anything else of the jury. Uh, the jury, so it's a, in that sense. Teeny bit, bit of a mess. I also feel that you know the crest is actually white, and here it's a little bit golden. Maybe they went a little, a little bit wild. Uh, but then there's also an interesting pattern in there. In any case, I'm thinking it's not as good as the Roma home jersey, and that one I didn't like. So let's go five stars here. Uh, the away jersey does something similar, just turn, turning it around. Also, doesn't get me really excited. I think the colors are actually a little bit blah. Uh, so five and then in my favorite color pink, although I have to say this probably has the most uh, character, 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 character. I wonder why it's pink. Uh, I hope it has nothing to do with PWT. I actually have, have, have to say this, this jersey to me makes the whole sense. It's almost like a Juve jersey. Juve should have something like, like this. So let's give this one six and let's move to one travel team, which is Sheriff. I only have the home jersey here, which uses uh, an Adidas template, of course, and you see it here with the patches properly colored, but it's black with a little bit of white and the Sheriff logo also on there. Um, I really wonder why the Sheriff logo is not in full color. There's no sponsors or vault, vault so it's very average, uh, but it's also not the, not the bad jersey. Um, I'm going to give it five. I assume the away jersey is a yellow version of this one but, and would get the same grade. Let's go over to um, Slavia, to Prague. Again, Puma and Slavia, classic look. Uh, we can discuss the e sponsor, but uh, you know, it's a classic half-half look. Maybe extended like Feyenoord last season, extended to an entire collar. I mean, it's a half-half collar because the backside is white, but that one looks a little bit odd, I gotta say. Uh, but this is what Puma has been doing. I also wonder, but maybe it's better to this way. The sleeve cuts could also be, you know, a white one on the red sleeve and the red one on the white sleeve. But I think this is about nice, uh, is, is, is nice enough. Um, I also like it's just these colors. Uh, yes, this one's a little bit of light blue, which does not look bad, but I also like that this is just these colors. It's very classic Slavia, and after last season, where it was purely half half, we have again the alternating sleeves in there as well, which I do enjoy. Uh, there is a subtle pattern in there, which I cannot really make out, but it adds interest to the jer jersey. You cannot really go, go wrong with this one. This is classic Slav Slavia look, not outstanding. I think that the color a little bit uh, turn, 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 but I'm gonna go seven here. The away jersey, though, mm. I'm sure. Ah, I see the pattern here. You have the Slavia star among some wavy stuff. So this is on the home jersey too, I would assume. Uh, the colors, maybe just about, but you know, there's no red and white. So this is something that already bugs me, but it's the color that really, really, really bugs me here. And it doesn't look quite right. It does not. It just does not. 
Um, I think if this was just uh, with the turquoise and then instead of the gold you have uh, a red, I think I could leave it at a little, a little, a little bit more. Uh, this jersey is not a great one. Let's call it as, as it is. I would give it four stars. However, they still reuse the third jersey from last season, and that was this one that I really like. Uh, it's navy blue. It's not the one the, from the previous season or two seasons before, uh, two seasons before, where they had a black one. That is one that I would really, really love. The crafted for culture. That's the Slavia jersey. A wager that would love a black one. But this one is really nice. It has to have have look. Also, uh, you know, and now with the, with the red star and the white puma, uh, it all fits really nicely. It's, it, it, it's a really nice jersey. I have to, I have to have to say that one goes straight up there as an away jersey. Eight stars. These colors I always will like. Okay, let's move over to the last group with Hecken. Uh, again, this I assume can only be the league jer jersey of the Euro uh, Europa League. They have been wearing something uh, similar, at least design wise. It's an interesting Puma invention with the arrows, the stripes being arrows pointing up. It also makes it interesting because it's broken for the sponsor, but in a very intriguing way, not just Karkakalov, there are the little points. Uh, they of course, the Swedish champions, Hecken, I think, playing good in Gothenburg. So yeah, I find the shoulders, the black ones on top. This is a little bit odd. Uh, and the design, it's interesting, but I'm not sure if it's great. And on this jersey, it's overlain with sponsors. I would say I'm gonna go five and imagine a few sponsors gone from there. Other than that, I would have to give this four. I do like the pinstripe away jersey, you know, a black and then a the yellow pin, pin, pinstripe. As well. Yellow and white is not one, but here, uh, not my favorite, but here I, I, I actually think it works. Also, again, not too many sponsors, so. Um, I'm gonna go, you know, if I take away the sponsor, I would go seven. Let's put it that way. I think in Europe, they're much less, less sponsors, makes this a much nicer shirt. Leverkusen, uh, probably one of the most exciting teams this season. Um, they went with a black home jersey with a red cross up front. Of course, uh, Bayer is the cross, so in that uh, sense, it makes, makes sense. I always like my Leverkusen in red a little bit more, but you know, and. Uh, I also wish that here the club logo was not a uh, major or trip like this. These are the things that, that, that draw me off. I think I can live if this was black, but then give, 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 give me the full color crest on it because it would fit just fine. It actually would place a little bit more on Bayer, but maybe since Bayer is not the main sponsor anymore, maybe this is intentional. But yeah, um, leaves me a little bit cold. I, I Also, the cross design, I know why it's doing, but it's not quite what I like. You know what I mean. So yeah, uh, six-ish. Let's go six-ish. I do like, however, the away jersey. I think this this was excellent. Always like a sash. Here it's a white. Yes, you could use the full color color dress because but because it's sitting on the sash, it actually makes sense to have it only in white. And I like that the sash is made out of black and red uh, bars. So it's not a pure sash, and then a really nicely um, trimmed on the collar and the sleeve. The the sleeve. This is a really really cool shirt. I would give it eight stars uh, and then they have a bluish here you should have used red if you ask me a uh, third jersey that doesn't do much for me and now the crest again monochromatic uh, but to me this has very little to do with Leverkusen I mean there's a little bit of red missing to me so I'm actually gonna go for um, I might like it for other teams but for Leverkusen I do not and that leaves us with Molde and Karabakh. So let's go Molde in Europe. This is the European home jersey, which is um, Adidas pinstripe template. Same thing that we saw with Sparta for the away away jersey. It's a really nice template. That one looks super, super, super nice. So I'm going to give this eight star as a gift for, for the Sparta jersey. I just want to show you the league home jersey, which is a little bit more messy because as much as I can understand for going with the white sleeves, but then why do they go back to blue? That's a, and, and you know a little bit too much white on the sides. It's a messy looking jersey, the home jersey that I would personally only give uh, probably a five star. And I don't know the away jersey here. They show the away jersey for for the league with a straight reversal looks actually better. I would actually go with six here. If again it's a pinstripe away jersey, I, I haven't really seen it. I would probably also give this the same grade with the eight stars be, from before. Um, 
And we have also a third jersey in gold. It's not very good quality, quality but I think that that one looks also interesting. Um, but also a little bit averagey. So I would say let's go with the six right here. And then last one, another Adidas team. Karabakh, all Adidas. After Ila Zero last year, where they had some of the best jerseys out there, now average Adidas, a little bit like Sheriff. So I'm gonna stay there. I also, I'm sorry, the picture that I found is not much better. I'm gonna give it the same grade as the Sheriff one. Uh, the away jersey is a straight reversal, but I would again give it a five, but I'm not gonna rate it uh, officially right here, but there you go. Any case, that ends the Europa League jersey review. Let me know which jerseys you liked in here the best uh, and where you agree and disagree with me. I have to say this fourth part is a little bit of a letdown, to be honest, but hey, uh, not all groups can have great jerseys. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, I'll see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.